Now, as usual, we start using the white. There's a lot of pink in this here, but we need to have the light there to start off with, so the pink has a better chance of showing up brighter. And the hairs in the ear. Now these I see as the strongest areas of light and as usual we'll have the stopping point. Now I think we need to put just a little bit of white in elsewhere just to give the pink a better chance of working. There's also a certain amount of creaminess on that white too, so I think what we'll do here is put a bit of ivory on as well. Just on the, on the edge of the ear there. Okay, make sure that's nice and strong. And then the pink. Pink I'm going to use is 132 and start off by developing the edge and there's a little more there. Put a little more pressure on when you're developing the stronger areas such as in there where that's going to be quite dark. Now we put a general colour. Now you can see where the white's showing up nice and bright, but I think what we'll do is make it just a little more obvious. Then I'm going to use the colour shaper. Uh, I generally reach for the ivory if I've got something that's quite light in this case. So I just want to put that in to rub that in to the area. Okay, right down that edge. Always worth working your kind of shape uh, as you did the pencil in the direction that you see the hair lying in. Now that's really nice. That's uh, got a nice soft look to it, which is what we're looking for. Now we need something a little stronger. So I'm going to use 131 now. And that will give us just a little more strength. And we can pick out just the odd area now that where we can see the shape and once again into that darkish area. This gives the grey and the darker colours a better chance or an undertone. A better chance of registering without being too hard. Now that's really good. And do I want yes I do a little more. What we want to do is try to retain some of that light. again use the color shaper you can use the color shaper a lot more in this particular animal than we have done in the past because what I'm trying to do now is allow the color shaper to bring a softness to fur I've practiced this recently and it worked really well. Now the other thing I want to do is put something around that edge and I think what I plan is an ochre. I generally reach for my 182 which is what I'm going to do now so I'm going to come right down the edge of that ear. It's not very obvious, there's no obvious um, line 
on the reference picture that I have but I know that really we do need to contain it so just be careful just to come down there we are now that and that can also be just introduced into the white so the white we've already put the ivory in which gives it a little creamy look well now the ochre gives it just a little more tone okay now we can also put some of that in here too oh, okay one more color before we start reaching for our dark colors and this is 191 so we've had three colors here 191 is a very strong color but it will give us especially if it's on top of the pink 131 and 132 will give us that little extra strength the, uh, now I'm just stroking that on rather than going too strong with it because it really if you push hard you're going to have a problem so what we're looking for is that kind of thing and a little more depth in here and this is where we can start because we're going to use a, a grey in a moment we want to bring the foundation colour in quite strong and you see how that's building up now let's just also bring that into and over the white now the white is still there but you can see it beginning to disappear but that's really pretty right let's work on the next color now the next color i'm going to use will be a gray and that is the forerunner to the 191 which i'm going to use next so you know how strong that is so we've got to make sure the gray adds its weight to the pink foundation we've already got imagine that you're putting the 181 on here gosh that is going to be strong but it will be weakened by the grey going on it doesn't go much further than that and that's about as far and again you can bring just a little of that grey in there as well now at this stage I'd use the colour shaper so bring back Kind of shaper again and we just don't want to lose what we've achieved here so we just bring it down just a little more you can always add put more on if we want to and here all those undertones you you put on will now be registering and mixing together now that's pretty nigh perfect as an undertone. Just a little bit more here. But if we have raw paper there, it's going to make the 181 when we put it on a little harsh. Right. Now see how soft that ear is compared with others we've done. Now the 181. Now 181. Oh, that's not the 181. Gosh, that would have been devastating. 181, yeah. Now, uh, yeah. Just test the water before you start. We don't want too much. I'm going to be putting 191 back on there in a minute. very hard at the moment because I'm kind of putting a, a tentative amount on but I'm going to press harder in a minute and oh, that's lovely now this is we knew we got to just put a few more positive strokes in remember the white 
that's coming back in as well. That's great. Now I'm just going to add just a little bit of weight with the 182. edge and the 191 can come back in again lovely and then a nice strong wipe now you know what I'm going to do I'm going to turn this round because we need to have the angle to push, so I'm pushing this in. Pink is a great blender too, and together with the white, which we can also add to, to that. Now, very, very light here, and um, I, I like that a lot. Let's double check I've got it right here, just a little more strength there. Put a bit of detail in it, and a little more there. And I think I'm going to leave that alone. Now, very delicate. Um, what I'll do in a second or two is I will just sharpen the white because I just need a few very sharp white um, hairs in there. Um, but I'll, I'll show you that in a second. Lovely. 